And staying with company news and ASCOM's share price rising big time yesterday, its medical device Spirostonic received Russian certification. What does all this mean? Well, Rob Phillips joins us now, CEO and Exec Chairman of ASCOM, and he's coming in from Chengdu, China. Wow, we're going round the grounds today here on AusBiz. Now, in terms of just a bit of background reading, Rob, you've got a series of medical devices that are already in China. So is this next step a push into Russia? Well, look, Annette, we've been around for some time, as most investors will know, and it it takes time to get products into the market. Um, The Russian approval was just another part of our global revenue jigsaw. We have a strong presence in China. We've established a Southeast Asian regional headquarters. We have also uh, a European headquarters in Budapest, and we also have a US headquarters in Los Angeles. So we are a global entity. The uh, Russian approval was one that took us a long time, um, and uh, it's 150 million people, $45 billion health budget, and it has rising health expectations. So we're excited about the opportunities for that going forward. But um, we have four suites, actually, of cardiovascular pulmonary devices, all of which address and provide solutions for diseases which are responsible for over 75% of global mortality. So we are solving real clinical needs, and it's not just um, China that we're in. Although uh, China this year alone, we received a China HEC high tech uh, enterprise recognition by the Ministry of Science and Technology. And this is recognition of the number of patents that we're doing and the uh, amount of penetration that we have in the market. We've also just got a triple A credit rating from the Chinese Credit Agency, all of which are indicators that our activities in China are being recognised. So that's very exciting. But at the same time, we're, we're doing good business in Europe and uh, expanding into the US as well. The ASCOM 1A, which is the device that's got us through this far, has now got global approvals. The Spirosonic Air, which is a post-COVID um, technology, as well as asthma and COPD, is a an emerging powerful tool that will take its place in the technologies of home care and telemetric medicine. And we've also just released the BP Plus, which is a central blood pressure monitoring technology and pulse wave analysis technology. So these things are all really significant shifts. And we've worked on the uh, regulatory environment for five years. And then suddenly, uh, post COVID, I suspect, we've got all these approvals land on our lap. And uh, it's a very exciting time for the, for the company. It, we will increase our uh, product region reach by over 140%, uh, probably by the end of this year. So they say the Spiro Sonic sounds fantastic. And you've also, as you mentioned very briefly, you've got Uscom's, you know, O2, 1A. So for those who aren't familiar with these devices, do they measure like blood pressure, asthma, and are they for GPs or are they for hospitals? Look, they have a range of applications and that's what's good about us. We've sort of diversified. Our ASCOM 1A is generally a high technology ICU device, but which also has wide application now in preeclampsia. What we're finding is that we can identify preeclampsia at five to seven weeks as opposed to 20 to 25 weeks. Now, if you identify it at five to 11 weeks, you can basically intervene at that time and have a much greater chance of preventing the progress of um, preeclampsia. So there are a number of areas that we're uh, in highly uh, critical territories with the ASCOM 1A. The BP Plus is a hypertension technology and uh, vascular health device and uh, that basically improves how we understand hypertension. Perhaps 50% of people who have hypertensive disease are poorly diagnosed and poorly managed. And the BP Plus is a technology which takes that step forward. We are collaborating with some of the largest technology companies in the world, uh, and it's also on the International Space Station, so it is being well recognised. The Spirosonic, which is our digital ultrasonic um, 
spirometer is an advanced technology with specific applications in post-COVID recovery syndrome. It looks at lung function in a very precise and a very accurate way. It's also the preferred technology for asthma and COPD, both diseases with massive numbers of patients worldwide that need attention. So the more coming to market at the moment provides us with an incredible opportunity, both through our own webs of distribution um, and also to develop strategic partnerships for distribution and manufacture. Ah, that leads me perfectly into my final question. Is this Aussie ingenuity made in China? No, this is Australian product, Australian developed. Um, I acquired two of the companies to go with us, and so we've actually developed the BP Plus and the Spirosonic going forward. USCOM is my invention, um, and it's locally made and uh, locally distributed and uh, globally accepted and recognised as a standard of care. Forty percent of the top US, ten top US children's hospitals all use USCOM and another seven are currently in negotiations to adopt it as a clinical standard of care. So uh, it is an Australian business, Australian company, Australian technology impacting the world. I think that's a brilliant way to round off. Thank you so much for joining us today. Rob Phillips, Auscom Limited CEO from Chengdu, China. Thanks, Annette.